Hello and welcome. Getting ready to do a daily message. Um, I used to say hello and good morning. I used to say hello and good afternoon. I no longer do that. It is just a daily message. Whenever you find this, um, it is meant for you. Whether you find it um, in the morning, in the afternoon, or 10 years from now, if this is, if you stumble across it, it's meant for you. I guess that's the easiest way to put it. Just a, a read for the day's energy, what's going on in your world. It may not resonate at all with anybody, but I doubt it. Um, I have the paranormal flashlight set up behind me. It has been working throughout the day. I'm beginning to wonder if my the batteries are getting a little low. Spirit, if you're back there, can you give me a wink or a blink? Let me know if I need to change the batteries. All right, give it, let me pause. <laughs> let me, let's see if I got it. Maybe, maybe it might, it might be time. Yep, it's time for batteries. Let, we're gonna, we'll, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Ever ready. All right, we are back. Um, Ever ready does not sponsor me, but if they would like to, they're more than welcome. Ever ready, Energizer, Duramax, or wait a minute. Yeah, is that Duramax? Duracell? Duramax is a diesel. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, all right. Let me get this adjusted. Just about perfect for spirit. I can feel their energy. All right. There we have it. Oh, nice and bright now. All right, spirit, if you're in the room, can I get you to give me a wink or a blink? Let me know that you're in the room. Can you take control of that light, please? Sometimes when it has new batteries in it, it's not easy for them to bridge that gap. But you can see they're working on it. There we go. Yep. Very good. Thank you. You know what? I'm always humbled when spirit takes control of that light. <clears throat> All right. Now that that's out of the way, let's get on to the task at hand here. This is just a daily message for whoever may need it. Wow. You are at a judge, or excuse me, at a crossroad with the judgment card. Not sure which way you want to go. Not sure what you want to do. Hoping that some clarity kind of comes to you to like, which way should I, I go with my life? Something you, you, I feel like you're already wrapped something up here. Um, already finished it up. Didn't work out, whatever it was. You're moving on to some fresher, greener pastures. But that is the... The judgment card is actually a 10-10. It's a 20. It, it's about wrapping up things. It's about starting new things. We have the three of pinnacles. And that three is about, um, you may have been trying to talk to somebody to help you out with this issue. Looking at, um, you know, the, the, the girls at the uh, coffee pot at work. Uh, you could be talking to the guys in the lunchroom. You were trying to get some input on how to save this issue and you couldn't. I think it just ended up turning into being some gossip. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. Awful bright back there, isn't it? Um, yeah, you decided to walk away from this. It wasn't serving you at all. You had to turn your back on it in order to get away from the drama and the chaos of this thing. It felt like that there was a, a struggle every step of the way, um, but you're free from this thing now. You already left it, already walked away. It's behind you, bam. We have the seven of pinnacles. That is about you moving forward with your life. It's about you cultivating something new. You just, you thought maybe you weren't going to be prosperous without them. Like they were going to compliment you with your actions somehow. Uh, you know, bring about a, a you know, like a, a team energy. You know, a team that complements each other and works together. I don't think it worked out that way. 
We have a lover's card and it came up in reverse. This could have been a soulmate connection that you had. Now, it does necessarily have to be a romantic relationship. This can be a, um, a relative. It could be, you know, somebody that you were in con working in conjunction with on something that, you know, you hit it off. You guys were soulmates. You knew, kind of knew each other without knowing each other. Um, but I don't feel it actually was a, it had to be a love connection. There was a power struggle that went on there too. You both wanted to be in control. And you know what? Both of you should have been in control. It ended up being that this other person just felt that they had to be in charge. You were done with that. You, you didn't need anybody to tell you or order you or command that you do anything. You wanted to do it out of love and respect. Um, and that's that Ace of Cups. There's a new connection coming for you. Something is going to transpire. It's going to change. There's going to be a fresh beginning coming in here. This is going to be, it's going to bring about some abundance. It's going to bring about a lot of positive changes. And the reason I say that is because Wheel of Fortune came up next. It's always hard to step away from a, uh, an old connection or an old relationship, whether it's with a friend, a lover, or a relative. We never want to step, um, move forward because we think we can't make it without them or without that connection. But I'm here to tell you, you can do it. Absolutely, you can do it. Um, grabbed another deck, get some val uh, validating cards. I love it when the energies duplicate themselves in two different decks. Let me know that I'm on the right track. All right, we have the Seven of Wands. This was all about the conflict and the chaos that you were dealing with. You were tired of it, didn't want to, didn't want to go that round. So you're stepping away from it as best you can, trying to stay prepared, stay, keep on your toes, so to speak, in case something pops back up again. And it may very well. We've got the King of Pentacles here. Uh, thank you, Spirit on the Light. King of Pentacles is all about somebody that is confident, somebody that's bringing something to the table with them, um, not coming empty-handed. This is a new connection that's going to be rolling your way. Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to find the cards that might be duplicates here. Uh, sometimes it doesn't happen that easily for me that they dupe on me, but here we go. All right, the um, temperance card came up. Just be patient. Take your time. Don't rush into anything. Um, there is no reason to rush into any connection. Let it unfold. Let it play out. Learn who the new person is before you form any kind of alliance with anybody. Still water runs deep. <clears throat> We've got the two of pentacles and that was about you trying to find some balance. You couldn't find it in that connection, but you're going to find it. You're going to bring it about because you're working hard on it. Um, and there we go. I thank you, Spirit on the Light. They know what I'm going to say before I say it. Take a look in the background. See those black mountains? Spirit is telling me that there's always another mountain to climb. There's always new scenery. Always something going to unfold around the corner. 
that balance that you were looking for is going to happen because we have the justice card. Things are going to finally sway that scale of justice your way. Thank you, Spirit. Um, you didn't think it was going to happen. You know what? It's never, you know what? It's never going to happen. I may not get my stuff back. Uh, I may not get to say that last thing. It's going to happen. Justice is going to happen. You're going to see karma connect to the other person in a way you had no idea. You had no idea that karma could respond that way. Um, we've got the Ten of Wands that came up. That is about you putting that burden down. Letting that, let it go. Let that shit go. Drop it. It was quite a burden that you had with this connection. It didn't flourish. It didn't prosper. Um, but you hung on and you hung on and you hung on. Time to work on yourself here with the Seven of Pentacles. Time to watch your own garden grow. And it is going to flourish. You're, you're, you're going to have some abundance and prosperity that you didn't expect. Um, it's actually, I feels like it's coming around. There's some kind of financial um, little thing coming around for you. Something small, tax, uh, you know, maybe insurance rebate, uh, tax return, something, some kind of unexpected money kind of going to roll for somebody here too, okay? Might even be just a lottery card, a lottery ticket, you know, a little scratch off for a hundred bucks. It's not big, but there's something coming. And then we have the magician card. And it's learning how to manifest everything that you want and need in your life. That's about you going inside and, and taking on a positive outlook. Thank you, spirit. It's about you bringing forth all the energies and all the power that the magician has. The magician has one of everything. They have one wand, one sword, one pinnacle, and one cup. And from that, they can make anything. It's like making supper with all cans. Just opening up cans and throwing it together. You know, like if they're out camping or something. That's kind of how the magician does it. Just opens up all that stuff, throws it all together, and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We have prosperity going. All right, there you have your daily message. I hope that resonated with some of you. And if that uh, little windfall comes through, let me know, will you? All right, thank you, Spirit on the Light. Always humbled when they come through and, and take control of that light. And I, you guys that follow me know that I never leave you without blessing you with love and light. See you soon.